Hey y'all, it's Backwoods Boys, bringing y'all a video on my two ultralight fishing poles I use for freshwater fishing a lot. They're great for crappie, panfish, uh, sometimes a bass fish with them, but they're great for like uh, lightweight lures and um, just smaller rubbers and stuff like that. They're great for um, lots of jigging and you know, smaller stuff like that, but uh, I just wanted to show y'all what I got a little bit. Um, this, this is a Bass Pro Series rod, it only costs about $60, but this is a cheap little crappy reel, uh, I put on it, it's called a Super Light, it only cost me about $30, but together, it's, we're looking right around $80 or $90, plus maybe some line and stuff on it, um, it's a 5 foot 6, uh, pole, 5 feet 6 inches, same with this one over here. I'll get to that one in a second. But these are basically the same idea. Same length. But, um, yeah, it's a yellow pole. It's got great, got great, um, action. Um, I like it a lot. I'll, I'll usually do a little bit of pan fishing with it. Catch some brown and, uh, smaller stuff. And, uh, yeah, but it's a Bass Pro Series rod, like I said. It's called a Micro Light. Um, let's see what else I can tell y'all about. Uh, it does line weights 2 to 6 pounds. So we're looking at a fairly light, uh, set up here on this rod. But like I said, I only, you know, pan fish, maybe some little small bass fishing with it. But I don't do too extreme fishing with these. I just, uh, these are just kind of poles you can go out and have fun with. But, uh, this is a little more of an expensive reel and pole, but not too much, like I said. Uh, this is called a Sedona. 1000 and uh, this was actually one of my favorite spinning reels it has no line on it right now because I like to change out my lines every now and then and just yesterday I took it off so i uh, got to put some new line on it in a little bit and um, one thing about putting a uh, line on uh, spinning reels is um, make sure your line's not twisted that happens a lot sometimes and if your line's twisted when you go to take it open the bale sometimes it'll just unravel off and sometimes it won't cast right so, um, I'm just saying, keep tension on it while you're putting line on the spool, so, because sometimes it can make your cast mess up and you can screw up your reel. But, um, yeah, but this is called a Shimano Voltius. Um, it's a five foot, five foot six pole, same length as the yellow one. Um, the Sedona reel, though, it's a great reel. Um, it, it's got great action. It has, um, it's a five bearing reel. Um, I have it left-handed grip, but, um, cause, uh, yeah, but I can work great, uh, structure with this, especially light little, um, like wacky worms and stuff on the wacky setups, or maybe like a Texas rig, and, um, I don't do heavy fishing with this either, like I said, small bass fishing for stuff like this, and, uh, yeah, but, um, let's see, so, it's a uh, four to eight pound line, so it's a little bigger than the other one, but really it's just a spinning reel. So, I mean, it's not nothing really anything uh, much bigger than the last one. Uh, they're both five bearing reels. I I don't know if I told you that about that one, but um, yeah, they're both cork handles. Um, this one's yellow. This one's silver. This one I highly recommend if you like fishing uh, spinning reels. It's called a Shimano Voltius. It's um, it's an amazing pole. They have a bunch of series of them. Uh, they make I think some saltwater ones even. But um, yeah, they have uh, I've seen a couple big ones, you know, like of a Bass Pro and stuff. But uh, it's worth checking out. But well, you can see these are these right here are shad scales from where I go shad fishing. Sometimes the water will get them all stuck down on there and stuff. But, yeah, so, um, leave me a comment about them, and, uh, I can bring y'all some more into depth videos, I guess, if y'all wanted me to. But, um, overall, great poles. I highly recommend this one, but this one's just a cheap rod setup. But, um, for the most part, it's kind of nice for what I just paid for it. And, um, yeah, so, thanks, like, and subscribe.